You want to be careful of your hand position because if you put them the wrong way, you could cut your arm really bad. You really don't want to do that. I do not actually have any experience in logging sports. The only thing that I've ever gotten really close to was kind of you know, chopping some forest wood and firewood, that kind of thing. I mean, aside from my one experience throwing an axe, I don't think I have experience with either of them. So what's cool about logging sports is that NAU has a designated area just for logging sports. A little dirt road out there, and it was pretty cool. There's definitely just a tractor out of here. Ileana, one of the members of the logging sports team, gave us a little bit of background on it. Welcome to the Hospodarski Arena. This is where we practice. So logging sports has been around for probably around a century or so, but the School of Forestry brought it back around the year 2000. Denver Hospodarski brought that sport back for us. Kind of the gist of what we do out here is we take uh, old logging practices and we do them in a competitive fashion. What is the most basic thing that somebody can do? What we usually have people do out here is we'll have you guys do like a double buck. Want a double buck? Sure. You get this really long saw and then one person gets on one end and the other gets on the other and you just kind of go back and forth and back and forth until you cut all the way through it. They kind of like showed us how to do it beforehand and the way that they did it made it look really easy. You want to be careful of your hand position because if you put them the wrong way, you could cut your arm really bad and you really don't want to do that. It's a little bit more difficult than what it looks like. It's more labor intensive. And not to put it in the wood too hard, but not to lift up out of it. It's a lot more intense of a workout than I would have thought. She was really good at kind of explaining how to correct things in terms of like posture and whatnot. She was like, here, try this or whatever. Like, don't stand so far back or anything like that. There you go. It's your first cookie. Are you out of breath, Katie? Yeah, a little bit. Next thing we're going to try is power saw. It's what we call power saw an event. So you're going to use a chainsaw. For you guys, since you've never run a chainsaw before, we're just going to have you do a straight down cut. I remember thinking back to my earlier days when my uncle was like, here, go chop this with a chainsaw. And I was too scared of it because it was really loud. So going in there and just yanking on the thing and turning it on, it was actually kind of thrilling. And it was cool to have all that power in your hand. So it wasn't that intimidating to do it, but it was, it was really fun. Yeah, so if you're going to run a saw, we have some safety equipment that we're going to need you to wear. Eye protection, really important. Ears, chainsaws are really loud. A lot of the people who are older in this sport can't hear a thing you're saying and you, you don't want to end up like them. And then chaps, these will keep your legs safe in case you cut into yourself. I'm going to go to school tomorrow. So. Oh my god, please. Yeah. My mom is like kind of our family's power tool person. Like when I was younger, she would always have her workbench with all of her like power tools and like her big saws and stuff. And because it was so loud, I never wanted to like participate in that. Ooh, nope. <laughs> that the sound of the chainsaw itself is a lot more intimidating than actually using it. Once you have it running and you've got the headphones on, like you can hear it obviously, but it's not as intense or as like obnoxious as it is without the headphones. You need to get one now. Do I need to get, oh gosh. I don't know if they'll let me keep that in my apartment. I like these pants though. It's a new fashion statement. Yeah. The axe throw in most competitions is an open event, so this is one that everybody competes in. You get three throws, and the total of your score goes towards the top competitors as far as tiers. Axe throwing was cool because they just kind of hand it to you, and they say, all right, chuck it. Bullseye is five, and then it goes out from there point-wise. When you throw it, the handle has to land the same way that you were holding it in your hands. I'm not very good at physics. Like, I feel like I read somewhere that if you throw a knife, it's always like three rotations, but I don't know how this is like different. So. 
got to yeet it and not Kobe it. Oh gosh, yeet. don't Kobe it. Yeah, don't I was never very good at basketball, so. Yeet is strength and God. power. Kobe is precision and accuracy. Wouldn't I want all of them? I guess. <laughs> how, do I, how do I do both at the same time? So I just, so. Oh, like over, over, okay. With my very limited experience to it beforehand, during homecoming week when we went and tried it, the axes themselves were like a lot bigger to kind of like figure out like the physics of it. Um, took a minute. Nope. <laughs> that was cool. <COVID. laughs> Stop. So you get two more. Yo, you gotta watch me miss it three times before you get to go. There you go. That was good. Probably would have been four. <laughs> we had a complete target. Did chucking an axe make you feel like the girl from Hunger Games? Oh, absolutely. My inner, like, 11 year old was very excited at the possibility of being like Joanna Mason. She got eight, she got eight out of a possible 15. That was really good for first time. Like, I couldn't even reach the target when I started, so. <laughs> okay. How many is that? Four. Okay. So I'm like already halfway there. Let's see if we can get that consistency. It was kind of intimidating to do, but it was also pretty fun when the sound hits, when it goes, and it's in there, it's like, wow, I did it. It's like some nerves there. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right, so next throw decides it. something. For the first time, that was really good. Yeah. <laughs> this is a caber and you toss it. And that's <laughs> essentially the whole event. It's who can throw the caber the farthest. So the end that you hold on your hand is the end that they measure to. So you want to make sure you get a good flip in. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to throw it. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's like, oh my god. There you go. <laughs> okay. I got a good flip, I think. I don't think I did it very well, but I didn't do it very bad either. I mean, there's just kind of, you just kind of do it, you know? I got the negative technique two in it is upper body or lower body or any strength. How far back did you go? Oh God. It's probably what, 35, 40 pounds, but most of it is like so tall that it's like hanging behind you when you're mm -hmm. holding it. Physically, it just feels clunky, I guess, to run with the weight behind you and then have to propel it forward. Nope. <laughs> oh, we got about the same, I think. I think you're smart. When I went into logging sports, I had no idea what they were about. I had no idea what kind of events they did. But as soon as I got there and I saw them doing their things, it was like, oh, I get it. And I was really excited to be a part of it. I had pretty much no knowledge on like the extent of what they did. And so to see the, kind of like the variety of different events that they have and the technique that goes into it, uh, it was really interesting to kind of learn more about. Everybody was so inclusive and everybody was willing to talk to you. And even if it was your first time doing anything, which it was for us, they wanted to help you out. They wanted to watch you do it. They wanted to watch you do well, probably because they've been in the same shoes that you were in with never having touched anything to do with logging sports before. They would be like, hey, let me help you out. Um, so they were really collaborative and really fun to be around. Thank you so much, Logging Sports, for letting us come hang out with you guys and engage with what you guys do. If you guys want any more information in regards to Logging Sports, we will have the link in the description with that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.